Okay, so we just watched a video on exporting our uh, design as an STL file. So the next step is slicing it. And how we're going to do that is on your computer, you need to uh, bring up the slicing software. And so um, how we want to do that now is let's go down to our search window and start typing in Dremel. And you should have this thing called the Dremel Digilab 3D Slicer. And that is what we want to open. So then once you click on that, it might take a second here. This is the program that we're going to go from the STL file that we're going to create the file that the 3D printers can read. And, then, and that, that file is called a G, like Grady, code, G code. All right, so here we are. Um, when you first open this, it might ask you to add a printer or things like that, like it does in the video. You can see mine's already set up as a 3D45. Um, if you don't have that option, you can go right here to add printer, and then you want the 3D45 and all that good stuff. But mine's already in the 3D45, okay? And then we're going to be doing our printing in PLA. So I'm going to select PLA. I think medium is perfect for what we want to do. And now it's time to bring in my STL file, okay? So the video said you can drag and drop. You're welcome to do that. So if I go to my file and my downloads, and I've got my Grady keychain here, and I can just drag and drop it in there. And there it is. That's one way to do it. And then the other way here is to go to open and downloads, Grady keychain, and it's right there, okay? And so now we've got that in there. Uh, I'm holding down the right mouse button, holding it down in order to spin it around and orient it, okay? And so you can see there it is. If you want to move the whole thing, I'm pushing in on the scroll wheel. This is me scrolling up and scrolling down. And so you can really kind of get it however you want to look at it here. Build plate adhesion, I probably don't need that. I definitely don't need any supports. I have nothing that's floating, no red surfaces, nothing goofy going on. One thing I like to do is right click, and there's a bunch of options when you right click on your drawing. Um, and I always want to make sure that it is centered. Um, what else do I always make sure? So make sure it's right where I want it. We want to see this red so that it's on the bed. Okay, if it's floating up above or anything like that, that's what can get us in trouble. And if your sizes are way off, you may have drawn it in inches and tried to import it uh, when our actual slicer runs on millimeters. We can scale things up and down here. And remember, you shouldn't have to scale at all. You should have drawn it to the correct size in Onshape. All right, and that's kind of how we limit our different sizes and things like that. And if you want to check your measurements, so my overall measurements are just under 70 millimeters by 40 millimeters, and that's about right. Okay, and then my volume because I have so much empty space was not a problem at all and so really we're good with all that and so that's how it's going to print you can see I've got it right in the center and so we are all good to go here so now um, infill I want you guys to set it at 20% and we can get into some advanced settings later but I don't need the support and I don't need the build plate adhesion all right my model is going to stick down there uh, plenty good and if not we can go in and, and make some changes later but now we're ready to slice. So we go to hit prepare. There's my status bar. Okay, so I got it all sliced now. And now it's ready to save. And I can save it a couple different ways here. The one I really want to do, though, is that thumb drive. Okay, so mine's called Army One. Your thumb drive might be called something different. I have two in here. This is just a separate one. I don't have to worry about that. So you want to select your thumb drive. And then once you select your thumb drive, you still have to hit Save to Removable Drive. And then it tells you it's saved uh, properly. Okay, and then we can eject it if, we're, if we know we're good to go. But what I want to do is just check and make sure. So I'm going to go back to that file folder I had open. And then I'm going to go down and look at my thumb drive. And I want to make sure that it's there. Okay, and there is the G code file. And I also saved the 3D object, the STL file. Right here, I want to rename this. I'm going to leave the D3 on there because that signifies that it's Dremel 3D45. But I want to get rid of all that, and I want to have the Grady right towards the front of it. And I just hit Enter, and now I've got that saved the way I want. And that's exactly what we want to see, and we are now good to go. All right, and so we can go down here just to be sure. On this Army thing right here, I'm going to right-click, 
and then I'm going to go up to eject. Save program currently using. So I need to close some things out here. Okay. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to close this window out. And now let's see if we can get this to eject. Oops, got to go down here. All right, and it is good to take it out so I can pull it out of the computer now. And now I have my G code and my STL on my thumb drive.